Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I have for you guys the Nail Queen Studio Hard Color Gel Swatches. I am going to swatch all of the color options that they have available in this video so you guys can see how they apply and what my thoughts on them are. First up, I wanted to kind of talk about their hard gel system that they have. This is just a smidgen of the hard gels that they have available, but in addition to their color gels, they do have a lot of hard gel options too. So if you're looking to try a new brand, this might be something to consider. Uh, Nail Queen Studio is a brand that is available to everyone. It is manufactured in Europe. It is very high quality, but it is sold here in Canada. Generally, a hard gel has to be filed off versus say a gel polish, which can be soaked off. Off, and that is exactly the case with the Nail Queen Studio hard gels. You cannot soak them off, you have to file them off. Uh, you can embed them or you can do them on top of a finished file nail, whatever your preference is. And this video will be organized in rainbow order of the color shades as best as I can and timestamp so you can jump around to find the exact color that you're looking for. Let's dive in and get started. We have two reds from Nail Queen Studio. First up is Valentine. Valentine is a medium bright to dark red. I found this one very easy to apply, very easy to kind of work out. I don't wanna say that it went on sheer, but I do feel like with how bold this red is, you might wanna do two thin coats of it which is what the directions say on it anyway, so it's definitely recommended to do two thin coats of it, but I did find it went on really well in just one coat here, which is what I'm trying to demo with the majority of the colors so that you can kind of see how they apply just evenly. Fire Engine is an orangey red type of shade. It is very bold, it is very bright, but it does have that orange tinge to it. And I do have them compared here to Valentine, which you can tell is quite a bit darker. Now this one applied so creamy, easily one coat coverage. It's a nice bold color. And these type of reds I love for summertime, especially if you're going to do like sailor type of nails or just want a really nice bold color for summer, this is a fantastic shade to consider. Fuzzy Peach is a creamium medium orange to brighter orange type of shade. And this one I think would be fantastic for fall time for Halloween, but it does have that bright tinge to it, making it great for summer and spring too. Now this one I found to be a very creamy feel to it, which you can see here. After swatching all of these colors from Nail Queen Studio, a lot of things remain consistent with their color gels. They are creamy. The pigments are very consistent. I do find them to have a little bit of a thinner viscosity so I do find them to run a little bit, which is kind of my preferred consistency for working with color gels. There are no yellows or no real greens so far from Nail Queen Studios. So we're gonna jump to this kind of turquoisey color. This color is called Beach House and I absolutely love this. I think these shades are just fantastic for summertime. I think they're great for nail art all year round and the pigmentation and application of this one was a dream to work with too. I do find that with these, they are self leveling. So if you're noticing that you're getting any shadowing when you're kind of painting them on, just go in with another thin layer kind of on top of them and it all self levels levels out. I really like the application of these. I find that they're easy to float if you are doing more of a floating method as well. There are two periwinkle shades from the hard gels. First up we have blue periwinkle and this is exactly how the color name describes it. It is a nice periwinkle shade that leans a little bit more blue and the application of this was very nice, super creamy, very similar to that fire engine orangey type of shade, which like I was saying, the majority of these colors apply in a very similar way, but I do notice that some of them, oh, how would I describe it, are a little bit more airy in feel than some of the other ones that have maybe a little bit less pigment to it, and I will talk about those as we get around to the different colors, but overall, I am absolutely loving the application of the Nail Queen Studio Hard Gels formula. This is the Periwinkle Purple shade, which will take us into our purple options. And this one, just like the color, it has a little bit more of a purple tinge to it. And I am gonna compare them side by side here so that you can see how the blue Periwinkle compares to the purple Periwinkle. I I don't know, These are, this is tough. If I was to decide between these, I would probably pick the purple Periwinkle just because it's a little bit more of what I would personally wear on my fingers. But both of them are great options depending on either what your clients want or what you're looking for in a Periwinkle shade. This one applied very similar to the blue periwinkle, a nice creamy application that self levels into itself, which you can kind of see happening here as I'm applying it.
The next purple shade that we have is called Tarot Bubble Tea, and this is an off-white purple. So it's not quite a lavender color, it's not quite a lilac purple, it's more of an off-white, and you will see that when I'm applying it that it goes on with a very light purple tinge to it. Now this is the one that I was kind of thinking that although it's pigmented, it has a little bit of a sheer kind of milky look to it when you're applying it, which you guys know I like that about these kind of lighter shades. I like that they have maybe a little bit of sheerness to them. I find you have a lot of versatility with nail art options with these type of shades, but you can definitely tell that it has a little bit less maybe pigment in them when you're applying it because it goes on just slightly a little bit sheer than the other ones that I've been featuring. Moving into the pink shades, the first one up I have is Barbie Girl. This one I would describe as a medium to bright pink. I like that it's not too bright. I like that it's not too light. It's a really nice pink shade. Now this one, when I'm applying it, it has a creamy feel to it, but I do find it had a little bit of that kind of sheerness going on that was a little bit different than say some of the other really bold pigmented ones. So for me personally, a shade like this, I would probably embed it versus doing the color on top because I find that I'd be able to get a little bit more of a better application with it, doing it in that sort of method. This next shade up is stunning. This is Melina and it is a dark pinky red color. It's very unique to my nail art collection. And this was a dream to apply. I really liked applying this pinky shade and I like that it is a pink, but it kind of has that red tinge to it too. I think this shade would be a very versatile color for all year round, not just for spring or summer. I could definitely see this with like a matte nail in the fall or with some snowflakes in the winter. It is a beautiful full pink shade. It's a Girl is a peachy pink color with a little bit of a lighter shade to it as well. Now this was the really the only one that I kind of struggled to get a really even application with it. I felt like this one, I really had to play with it to kind of work it out. So a shade like this, I would personally choose to embed it. That way I could float it a little bit better versus painting it on. Tutu is a very light peachy pink type of shade. And this one I felt like had a very similar feel to it to the It's a Girl color that I just shared with you. So again, this is a shade that I would likely embed with it as well or use it for nail art when I'm embedding it because it has a little bit of that sheerness to it. It's kind of got that milky feel to it that that tarot bubble tea color had as well, which you guys know I love these type of shades. I love these type of applications, but just a little note about this particular one. Probably one of my favorite shades in this entire collection. This is Mauve Berry. This color is a deep, rich, rosy berry type of shade. And the application of this, again, was a dream. It is just so nice to apply. I would imagine that if you're going to do this on top of a finished file nail and paint it on in two thin coats, it would be great. If you're gonna do a little bit of a floating method and embed it, it would also be great. These shades I love using all year round, specifically for fall and winter, but because it does have a berry tint to it. It's one that I would definitely wear in the spring and summer too. Pair it with some floral nails. If you guys have been here for a long time, you know I love these type of shades. Deep Merlot is exactly how the name describes it. It is a nice rich Merlot type of shade. It has that purple tinge to it, but then it also has that berry look to it. Again, just kind of depending on how the light hits it. Now, when you're applying this one, I would 100% recommend do this in two thin coats because it is nicely pigmented, but you can see here when I am applying it in a really thin layer here that you'll definitely want to build it up a little bit more. These type of shades are great for wintertime specifically, especially if a client or you want to wear something that is a little bit darker but maybe not quite a black. Rose Sunset is a very unique shade. It's one of my favorite ones from all these ones that I'm swatching for you guys. It is a pink, gold, rosy, pearly type of shade. When I am applying this one though, it, I find it to go on a little bit sheer, so I would definitely recommend doing a floating method if you are embedding it, or the two thin coats if you're applying it on top. This color I think would be fantastic for nail art, fantastic to wear on its own, or as like an accent nail for other arts that you're pairing with it. I just love this shade. 
we are moving into the neutral shades now. So first up, I have a birthday suit to share with you. This one is a creamy off white pink type of shade. This one to apply it was so creamy, so easy to work with, which is nice to see from neutral shades because sometimes when they're a little bit lighter like this one, it can be kind of hard to work them out or get an even application without them work looking a little bit streaky. I did not find that at all when I was applying this. If there was anything that was a little bit sheer, it was super easy to work out because it does melt into itself and it is self-leveling. Blushing Taupe is a shade that I really like. It is a soft taupey gray color, but it does have that mauve purple hue to it as well. Now this one, when I was applying it, I found this one to be a little bit more runny than some of the other ones that I have applied, which I do not mind that consistency at all. I like applying a shade like this that has a little bit of a thinner vis viscosity to it because I find that it's easier to be a little bit self-leveling when that happens and it's easier to kind of work out any sort of shadowing that might occur. Naked is a light to medium caramel neutral color. I like that this is a little bit darker and I like that it's a pretty unique neutral shade to ones that I have in my existing collection. I think this would make a great nail art background for different type of art. I think this would be a fantastic color to wear matte in the fall time. I just really like this shade. In the buff is a medium to darker neutral shade. It doesn't have those peachy undertones to it that we saw with the previous color Naked. And I did want to compare the two of them beside each other so you can see kind of the difference with them. When I was applying this particular in the buff shade, it had a very nice application to it too. I like that it doesn't have that peachy tones to it, but it's still a nice like medium to darker neutral color. Send Nudes is a unique neutral shade. I like this one because it, to me, kind of reminds me of like a cinnamon color, but also a gray brown tone to it. And this one applying it was so creamy. It was really nice to work with. And I like that this is a darker neutral too, but it's such an interesting color because when I look at it, sometimes it looks gray, but then it looks brown, then it looks like it has a cinnamon hue to it. So I really appreciate the uniqueness of this particular tone. Next up we have Strip Tees and this one is a light peachy neutral shade but it does have a soft white shimmer in it as well and this is the first time that we're seeing a creamy color from Nail Queen Studio that has a little bit of a shimmer in it and I really like that about it. Now this one when I'm applying it, it has that very thin viscosity that I personally really like. I do find that it goes on a little bit milky, a little tiny bit sheer but it's easy to work itself out because it is self leveling and kind of melts into itself too. These type of colors are fantastic for milk bath type of nails if you want something that has a little bit of a hue to it or they're great for backgrounds of different nail art too. You guys know how much I appreciate these type of lighter shades. Creme Brulee is a light pinky neutral color. Again, one that is super creamy. I like that it has a little bit more of a pinky peachy hue to it as well. And this one, when I was applying it, I did find that it went on kind of a little bit sheer, like that milky type of feel to it that I have shared with some of the other ones. Uh, but overall, I really like the application of this and I do like that there is um, no shimmer to this particular shade. Uh, that way I feel like it'll work really good for the background of different nail art or a shade to just wear on its own or something that you can make matte and wear in the fall. It's a very versatile color. A couple gray tones to talk about. So first one we have Stone Age. And Stone Age I would describe as a medium to dark taupe gray tone. So it definitely has some purple undertones to it. I think this is one of those kind of sought after colors that people look for in the fall time. And the application of this was just so nice to work with. Very self leveling, a nice viscosity that I like to work with. And it, you definitely notice that it kind of melts into itself and works any sort of uh, shading issues out when you're applying it. 
Okay, let's talk about this color. This one is called Smoky Eye. So when you're looking at it in the pot, it looks like a deep, dark, rich black, but it has more of a gray hue to it and it also has some blue undertones to it that you see when you're applying it. What I like about this color is it is dark and rich, but it's very creamy to apply. And I like that it has a little bit of a gray hue to it too, versus being all a black shade. It's something that I think if your clients or you wanna wear something that's dark, but you don't want to wear a black, this would be a fantastic option for you. I really like this one. Now the last two colors that I want to talk about are their black and their intense white. So these I will say all the time are staple colors to have a good black and white. And if you're looking to try something from a company, these are likely the ones that you're going to get the most use out of for nail art. Now the thing that I really like about the Nail Queen Studio black and white is how pigmented they are. They are so bold. You want to make sure that you're applying them in a super, super thin application, which you can see me doing here. And even though I'm applying them super thin, they're still very bold and very bright, particularly with this white one here. Now I do notice when I'm applying them though, that you do want to put them on as a very thin paint on coat. If you were going to float either the black or the white, if you're embedding them or anything, you likely could have problems with them curing because of the pigments that are in here they are very very highly pigmented so if you're going to do a full coverage with these particular shades make sure you're working in a very very thin application both the intense white and the black are fantastic for nail art because they are so bold very very highly pigmented and you're going to want to be working thin if you're doing any sort of hand painting with them i can tell just by applying these and the nail art that i've done with them already that these are going to be staples in my personal collection Moving on to the sparkles, the glitters, the foils. First up I have for you is Rainbow. I love these type of see-through glitter shades. They are staples in my collection. They are so, so versatile in how you use them. And this one has a clear base with a multicolored, very fine sparkles to them. So when you're applying this one, you're definitely gonna notice that it is a bit more sheer. These type of colors are great for layering over top of other colors or for using them with nail art, for using them in combination with chunky glitters, which Nail Queen Studio has a ton of chunky glitters as well. Gold Champagne is one that I would say is a staple to have in your collection. It is a light gold with a very, very slight yellow gold feel to it, but mostly it is a champagne gold. It is incredibly sparkly. It is very, very concentrated. One coat coverage for this is perfect. And these type of gold shades are very versatile because you can pair them with so many different nail art or different nail designs. Because this one is so concentrated too, you could definitely use this for nail art if you're painting lines or adding different different accents to your already nail art designs. Liquid gold is a yellowy gold type of color gel. It is very concentrated, very shimmery, and the application of this definitely went on in a nice one coat coverage as well. These type of shades are fantastic for Christmas time, but because this has a little bit of a bronzy feel to it, I feel like you could use this a lot during the year as well. Now, these type of very fine, glitters like this i love these ones matte so i wanted to see how this one looked matte as well silver glitz is a pewter silver glitter so the other ones kind of had like more of a fine shimmer to them this one is definitely a glitter and i feel like it has a little bit of a green tinge to it but i kind of like that because it i feel like would be a little bit more versatile or pair a little bit better with some of those warmer or cooler tones it's really something that you could use with anything because it has a little bit more of that warmer hue to it now this one had a very great application I was a little bit worried because of the bigger glitters in it that it might pull when I was applying it, but it didn't. It definitely applied really nice in a one coat coverage. I saved my very favorite shade from Nail Queen Studio for the last one. This is Copper Rose. Copper Rose is a rose gold leaf foil type of glitter gel and the application of this is just beautiful it applies in a one coat coverage it is a stunning shade you guys know that i am very particular on my rose gold shades whether they are like rose gold hardware or if they're like pink iphone rose gold i prefer the 
rose gold hardware and that is what this one reminds me of it is just a beautiful stunning color and i think it would pair with so many different nail art because it is highly concentrated too it'd be great for any sort of hand painting as well Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the swatches of the Nail Queen Studio hard gels. I recently posted a 10 easy DIY gel nail design tutorial video featuring the Nail Queen Studio hard gels. So if you want some more ideas of how to use these, definitely be sure to check out that video. But in that video, many of you wanted to see the swatching from the hard gels and that's exactly what this video was. So I hope that it helped those of you out there who are looking for that. Make sure you're following me on all of my social media and comment below and let me know what other sort of nail videos you would like to see featuring the hard gels from Nail Queen Studio. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!